Next, we looked at a special case called pilot contamination. Pilot contamination is an issue that beam forming can suffer because MIMO systems, particularly massive MIMO, use pilot sequences from each of the devices to estimate the channel between the base station and the device. If we look at the diagram at the bottom, the pilot signals sent from a device are sent to an intended base station shown by a blue arrow, but those same pilot signals will also reach neighboring base stations. And in some cases, the device in a neighboring cell may be using the same pilot sequence. When this happens, it's called pilot contamination. And the problem that occurs is that the base station receives the same pilot signal from both devices and thinks that they're essentially the same device. When it then forms its beam back to what it thinks is one device, it's actually diverting some of its energy accidentally to the second device and also degrading some of its calculations, reducing its beam to the intended device. So in our simulation, we created a device here shown in blue, which we used as a simulation of a device that was introducing pilot contamination. We assumed that this device was in a neighboring cell, perhaps a tower to the south or the northwest of the screen, and that it was sending the same pilot signal as the device that we had moving along our route. When we look at the received power under these conditions, we see a couple of interesting trends. First, the maximum ratio transmission changed from the dark blue line to the light blue. We see some slight changes, but over most of the route, there's actually very little change in the received power. And on average, it ended up being a mean of about 2 dB less power when there was pilot contamination. When we look at zero forcing, we see a slightly stronger effect dropping from the red to the green. And overall on this route, this resulted in about a 6 dB loss in power. When we look at SINR, however, we see a much different effect. Again, we have the blue dropping to light blue for maximum ratio transmission. This was about a 2 dB loss in SINR. But for zero forcing, we dropped from the red line to the green line. And essentially what happened is because this device moving along the route was suffering pilot contamination, our base station in the beams that it formed to all of the other devices was not able to successfully minimize the interference to our device. So while the power only dropped a little bit, the interference from the 15 other beams to other devices in this small cell was significantly higher. And this increase in interference dropped our SINR over the route. If we look at the an overall summary of the results, the impact to MRT was about 2 dB to both the power and the SINR. And for zero forcing, it was about 6 dB loss in power, but an average of about a 29 dB loss in the SINR, greatly degrading the performance of this beam forming system. In addition, there was an increase of about 9 to 12 dB interference to that neighboring device caused by the base station, both by MRT and zero forcing, directing more energy into the device in the neighboring cell without realizing it. So the bottom line from this is that unmitigated pilot contamination is a severe issue, severe issue for beam forming, particularly massive MIMO beam forming. Fortunately, the research community knows this, and there's a lot of work going on to work on techniques to mitigate pilot contamination. So when systems that get deployed, it will likely be mitigated. But understanding that it's a problem and having tools to simulate the problem and mitigation techniques is a valuable, valuable tool for simulation. <clears throat>